Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com here to bring you another gear review today, talking holsters. This guy right here, which is the Swoop with Mag Carrier by Phaseline Holsters. A while back I was reviewing this PL Mini by Olight and I said kind of one of the downfalls is while it has some cool features, not a lot of holster support. And at the time I didn't have a holster for it. And Phaseline reached out and said, hey, we actually make one for the Olight and we would like to send you one out. I said, all right, sounds good. They sent this one out and since then I wore it probably for about a solid two months. And then I think I got a new gun in, another holster, started wearing something else. I've been remiss, didn't bring this to you sooner, but I will give you my takeaways from my time with this holster. This Swoop phase line holster is a appendix in the waistband holster. It's set up for you to drop in. You have two clips, one on the other side. And then you also have on here a little claw right there. Basically ends up pushing this part of the holster in so consequently the butt of the pistol ends up getting pushed in creating a basically something that won't print as much how does it work well like most things totally dependent on body type garments stuff along those lines for me does it print some yeah it prints some but i mean again this is like a merino underlayer uh or yeah base layer at the same time. Does it work? It does. Clear cover garment, dry it out, pretty good retention there. If there's something I don't care for personally, it is a combination of things. One, having the spare mag on here, not necessarily where it is, but how it's on there and yeah, and kind of how it goes about doing that. Well, Kydex has some amazing properties. Chief among them is not its ability to flex. And with that, depending one on activity level to body type, this being right there, depending on how much you're moving, getting in and out of vehicles, bending down, tying your shoes, whatever it may be, you end up with this flexing right here. On top of that, we have three holes right through there. So. While this has not broken on me, it will, over a long enough timeline, break. I'm not saying when it's gonna break or anything like that, but it will. You're, you're basically asking this to do something as a material it isn't really made to do. I do like that they have magazine retention over here, as well as you can adjust tension here on your trigger guard for your pistol retention. Even though this is adjustable retention over here, a problem I had was this magazine getting pulled out. And the way it usually happened for me, even with these things cranked down, is when this is in your belt, especially if you're wearing layers, pulling cover garments up, ends up grabbing your magazine. Now, would it happen if I had super streamlined base plates? These are the Vickers Tactical ones by Tango Down. I don't know if it still would, I'm not sure. It may well because this material right here is cut relatively low as far as a mag holder goes, I think. And because of that, as I would scoop garments, sometimes it would grab this, even a t-shirt would pull this thing out, mag would go on the ground, searching for it, trying to conduct a reload. Am I the only one that's ever experienced this? Possibly. I don't know. I mean, this is a sample size of one. But that is definitely something I ran into with the mag carrier there. Because of that, I personally would probably rather just go with one of the holsters without the mag carrier. The holster as it is, it's a good holster. It's well made. You don't have any sharp edges. Sweat shield comes all the way up. I really like the fact that they actually offer these for a number of different weapon lights too. If you're carrying a weapon light on your pistol, I think it's great. And yeah, again, I think quality Kydex holster. I just am not a fan of basically how this little sidecar magazine 
carrier sits on there. Again, sample size of one, has it broken me? No, it is not. Wore it solid for about two months and yeah, haven't had any issues with it. But I have seen a lot of Kydex holsters that have broken right here. So my two cents. If you wanna pick them up, you can do so through their site about 75 bucks i believe for the holster and then depending on kydex color they have a ton of different colors you can choose that as well as different lights and of course you can choose if you would like a mag carrier on there or not quick note on carrying spare mags it's a good idea usually if you end up with a malfunction oftentimes they are mag related so rather than continuing to have that malfunction being able to actually drop that magazine, get another magazine, and no longer have that malfunction, pretty important, especially in a, yeah, like life or death situation where you're trying to employ this pistol. But if you picked one up and you've had experience with one, let me know how it was. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Straight to patches, JJ, but...